Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to building a startup from scratch part 2. The series where we will be, well, building a startup from scratch together from the idea over the execution to finally launching the product as an open community project. The application we are building is called Wordful AI and it is an AI assisted tool that helps students write essays by providing AI sentence autocompletion, um, heading generation, easy synonym finders, and those are the features that exist until now. And so allow me to give you a little walkthrough of the features that already exist, what is planned for the future and how we will proceed in building this entire software as a service or SaaS startup. And then after the walkthrough in one of the next videos, um, we will be starting to build the landing page. Because I think um, it doesn't make that much sense to just keep on uh, focusing building the product when you don't know if people are actually interested in it. So in the next video we will be starting with building the landing page and we will be focusing more on the marketing aspect of the entire business this week. And then next week we will uh, focus on building the actual product, uh, implementing features, fixing bugs and I will take you on the journey with me. So let's switch over to the monitor and I will show you what features exist until now and give you a little walkthrough of the application. So this is the index page. So essentially what you see once you log in. There's a list of documents with some functionality, for example, a delete functionality that already works. We can try that out by creating a new document, saving that, and then we can just go back and delete it right away. So you can see what happens. Oh, obviously it's, it just disappears. So let's go into a new document. And uh, this is a React rich text editor, which was um, a challenge to work with at the beginning. But once you get used to it, it's not that hard, honestly. So in here you just um, type your essay. And then up here you can find the toolbar. So you can make words bold, italic, underline, essentially features that every rich text editor like Word or Google Documents supports. There's nothing special about these functionalities. Then in the file dropdown, there are three working options and uh, three options that do not work. I'm not even sure if these will be um, implemented in the future. Like the delete option, for example, already exists in the index page. And then sharing will be, would be a cool feature. Adding to favorites, uh, maybe, I'm not sure yet. But uh, these first three work, the rest don't. So you can save your document, obviously. And what that will do is A, save the document to the actual database. And secondly, it will take a picture of your essay. So when you go to the main menu, there's going to be a picture of your essay right here. We didn't type a lot, but um, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see it. There's a picture containing your um, essay content. Another feature that exists, it doesn't work perfectly yet, but it kind of works, is exporting your Wordful AI document as an actual Word document. So let's just try that out. And here we are, the software is on German, so these words are not known to the German sentence correction, but you can see it kind of works, the, the bold status worked. I haven't implemented features like um, alignment yet, for example, so that's why the alignment doesn't work, but it, it kind of works already. And then one of the features I'm most proud of is the language feature. So right now it's set to German, and uh, by the way, the profile icons do not uh, work yet, apparently. But you can go to your settings, which are insanely bare bone, but whatever. And then you can select which language you would like the features to use. So when you select English, for example, the tool expects you to write an English text. And then the autocompletions and the headings and the synonyms will all be done in English language. They also support German, so the prompts to the AI are going to be different so that the response sent by the AI is going to be in German, essentially allowing you to write German essays and English essays depending on your language. 
For this video, we will obviously switch it to English. It automatically saves. The user experience right here is horrible. I, I'm totally aware uh, that's one of the things we are going to work on in the following videos. So for now, let's keep it at the English language. All right, so I went to website and I just uh, grabbed some example text on how to write an essay. We can get rid of this top section. And uh, this is to demonstrate you what the features do. So let's test out the first feature and the one I'm most proud of. It's the auto completion. Let's just type the, and let's say we are writing an actual essay and uh, we would like a suggestion on how to continue the sentence, how to complete the sentence, uh, whatever. Let's just ask the AI. So let's hit control space bar and that will make a call to the API, essentially generating a response that fits the topic of the previous sentences. So in this case, it suggested the key to find an essay topic that is interesting to you and to write about it in a clear, concise and whatever. That's uh, our thought process. We can, we can go on there or we could not accept the suggestion at all. Let's say we like the suggestion that the AI made. So we can hit like tab or enter or we can click the text to accept the suggestion. However, if we do not like the suggestion from the AI, for example, in this case, it um, suggested the word manner to end the sentence, which makes sense. But let's say we don't like the suggestion, we can just type anything else and that will get rid of the suggestion just as anyone would assume it would. So let me show you one feature I'm most proud about in this application until now. It is the feature bar. So what that allows you to do is, well, by now it allows you to do exactly two things which is generate a heading or find synonyms for your word. The next feature is obviously we're going to build together. So let me show you how this works. You click the heading and then you have two options. First off, you could enter the selection mode, which I will show you in a second. And then secondly, if you haven't written the content yet, you have also the option to just type it in here and then generate a heading based off of that. But I want to show you the selection mode right now. So we will click the button. And as you can see up here, it says selection mode active. What that means is you are able to select the text you would like a heading generated for. So that makes it very easy. Just select. And now the AI will compose your heading and list it up here. If you want, you can change it right here. Just uh, type some words in here. I do not want to change it. I like this suggestion. So you can just click insert and it will insert it above the text you have selected. So that's one feature I think is very beneficial for writing essays and saving time because you could just go off the top of your head, write anything you like, and then later let the um, application worry about generating headings for whatever you wrote. So you don't really get distracted by trying to find a fitting heading for your text and get disrupted from your train of thought. Let me also show you the synonym feature which uh, doesn't work perfectly yet, but it kind of works. So let's say we are trying to find a synonym for the word efficient. You can just double click it, it will compose the synonym. And uh, as I said, by now it doesn't work perfectly. It just lists all the synonyms it found, um, which is not very user friendly, but that's what we have until now. We can just uh, copy it, I guess. Yeah, inserting doesn't make a lot of sense because it's still, um, based off of the heading. So it, it thinks this is the heading we are trying to insert and that's why you see this is marked as a heading one and all the synonyms are inserted, which is obviously not what we want. Uh, but that's one thing we can improve upon in the following videos. All right, so I reset the document and those are pretty much the core features we have until now. Let me show you the account settings, which is um, a pretty basic page but essentially what it tells you is how many tokens you have used. So the AI works in a way that with every request, um, you have to pay an amount of tokens depending on how long the request is and how long the response from the artificial intelligence is. And one thing we still have to figure out is how the pricing is gonna look down the line. For example, there's the option to charge by tokens or to charge just a flat rate, which I prefer. Um, but we'll have to see. For now, it just lists the amount of tokens you have used um, in communicating with the AI here. 
And obviously there is a limit, which um, right now is just 20,000 because I just came up with it. That is obviously subject to change later. And that is where we are now. I'm very excited to be building this application together with you. I really hope you enjoyed this walkthrough I gave you. And in the next video, we will be focusing on building out the landing page and demo so people can try out the application on the landing page. And I'm very excited to share the whole process with you. All right, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Have a good day, bye bye.